video. And um, today's video is just go basically going to be about um, Boston Richie and his girl cheating on him for Lil TJ. Now, uh, I know a lot of people, like, think that when they get money that everything is just going to be everything. You know what I'm saying? Uh, as far as the, the, the women and females that y'all be pursuing, like, this is the perfect example of why that's not the case. Like, no matter how much money you may be, you may have, or how much more money you got now than what you used to have, like, a female gonna do what she wanna do. You know what I'm saying? Like, especially if that's her true tendencies, like, a, a hoe gonna be a hoe, basically. You know what I'm saying? And so, you got Boston Richie, he got all this money, you think that, oh yeah, he good, woo the woo. But then again, Lil TJ got bread too, probably more than Boston Richie. So, if she always out on the scene or she in the right place at the right time and he sees the opportunity, as you see, that's just how it's going to go down. And, um, you know, I think that a lot of times, too, a lot of these dudes that be getting all this money, they don't really be in tune with they self for real and their character don't be all the way how it need to be. Um, a lot of dudes with all this money be flawed. Look at Diddy and, and how he is. But that's a whole different type of conversation. And that's going to be another video because that's stemmed from years and years. But people have this, this, this idea and stigma that when you get money, that you have to be ignorant to the reality of, of how the real world works. And you know what I'm saying? I can get why you do that because money brings you power. Power brings you resources. So most people that have money, they tend to think they can do whatever they want. So in his case, Boston Richie case, you know, he got this song, Do You Love Me? Mm, mm, baby, do you love me? And, and, and you see, she don't, because she went and did what she didn't did. You know what I'm saying? Like, you got to really be able to dictate and see what's going on in between the lines. Like, he probably was out doing shows or out doing whatever he doing and then try to come home, act like everything is all gravy. Mind you, the girl is like 18, 19 years old. First of all, she young as shit. So she already seeing what's going on. She's on online. So how can you expect, at your grown ass age, how can you expect a little 18, 19 year old girl to be the type of woman, quote unquote, to be supportive of you in the lifestyle that you live in in your career? She ain't all the way mature yet. So any little thing that she don't like, she gonna try to go and do tit for tat. She gonna respond off her emotions. That's just how women are. So knowing probably what happened, he probably did some. Cause he ain't just didn't do nothing. He ain't just a saint. He probably got caught up talking to somebody, whether he knew it or not. She found out, and she like, okay, since you want to embarrass me, I'm gonna go ahead. And, and that's the thing about women too. Like they don't really care. Like when they get, they get back. Whenever you do something, and you try to be sneaky or you do whatever you do, and you try to, you know, what I'm saying, play it cool, play it low key. A woman, she gonna try to go and she gonna try to stick the dagger all the way into your heart. You know what I'm saying? So. She said, okay, bet you, you hot right now. You starting to get this traction. You want to play with me? I'm going to tarnish your career. And that's why she did what she did. That's another thing, too. You got to watch out how you do these women because when they get that get back, they don't care about nothing. They will do the most unlogical thing. They'll know you the breadwinner and go mess up all your money just for the satisfaction of getting that revenge and feeling like they did their justice to their self for their pride. Now, I don't know how Boston Richie and and his people going to go about this whole situation. Because, you know, now dudes kill behind women. A dude will kill behind a woman. Especially when you find one that's doing all the things that you deem as perfect in your eyes. Everything that she doing is what you want her to do. She checked the list off of everything. Looks. Money personality, morals, the scussy good. Like, if all that is, is, is checking in, like, a dude will kill behind that, so. You know what I'm saying? You would think that people like them who got money and who can just, you know what I'm saying, go get another, you know what I'm saying, whatever the next day, especially an 18-year-old. Like, that ain't shit. You should be getting older women anyway. You would think that niggas like that would be chill, but them be the most crash out ones. Because they got more resources and more access to resources to be able to get the job done. And they don't necessarily have to do it themselves. They don't, actually. 
shit here in Dallas, you can you can put a hit on somebody for as low as two hundred to five hundred dollars, and that's not a lot of money at all. A life is priceless. Time is the most expensive thing in the world because you can never get that shit back. You know what I'm saying? Five hundred. That's something you make in a in a week of work. And you don't even get that until the second week on your paycheck. See what I'm saying? So, um, yeah, man, I think that just that whole little situation is just a testament to how these women are and and what they got going on. I mean, I feel like too, and and like I I I go on online. Most of these rappers, especially like him, gotta know that these they only want you for what you can do for them. They only want you for your money. So I can kind of get. She probably was showing him that, and I can probably get why he probably did something. He probably didn't do nothing at all, because I'm just, I don't know the full context of the situation. I'm just giving y'all my opinion on it. But she only, most of them only want you for what they can do for you. I, I, I'm on TikTok yesterday, because I just, I uploaded something, and I, I, usually, I usually don't get on TikTok for real and just stroll, because I know the, the way the app is set up. It's called TikTok for a reason. It's set to keep you consumed into it. That's why you can stroll forever and it's going to always be continuous content. Tick tock, like a clock. You're going to be watching forever. See what I'm saying? So that's why I don't really get on there that much and stroll. But the point is, I was on there strolling and, and I kept coming across live videos and it's just females. They're sitting in a chair or they they just on live. They laying down in bed, whatever the case may be. A little makeup on or whatever. And they're, and they're just sitting there reading comments is dudes flooding the chat geeking thirsting out you got niggas in there what's your cash up i don't know i don't get where that came from but that's that's what's really messing these girls heads up too because they in there what's your cash up oh wait somebody asked me for my, let me drop my cash up real quick hey guys gift me whoop de woo like they're just doing that and I, it was like 10, I swear to God, it was like 10 girls in a row. And they was all on live doing the exact same thing. Nothing. Just sitting on there making free money. So I'm in that, I, I joined one. Because I, I, once I got to like the fourth or fifth one, I, I, I tapped into it just to see. And I'm like, I'm like, let me drop my cash up so y'all can bless me. She read the comment out loud start laughing and instantly grabbed her phone and put her cash out, you know what I'm saying, to distract. Even though I was trolling, like, they really, this is how they make a living. They not trying to work. So, if she felt like she was in a space with bro, Boston Richie, if she felt like she was in a space to where he was going to kick her to the curb, she ain't got nothing going for herself yet, she ain't started nothing up, then she went, okay, but I'm going to just go find the next dude while I still got access to it while I'm with bro. Because she probably felt that it was dwindling down to an end. Something was finna happen or she felt like she was getting tired of him doing her wrong. She'd rather go be with a dude that's gonna do everything for her as far as spoil her, take care of her so she can live in this world for free. But get treated like a, a princess. Cause that's what they want. They want you they want to live in this in this world for free. Not do anything. She probably don't do anything for bro. And reap the benefits of his hard work. Man, I'm just talking about the stereotypical. I'm just talking about the stereotypical girl in this generation. Granted, like I said, I don't know them personally. I don't know what's going on, but just from the outside looking in, that's just how it go. So, um, I think that 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 whole little situation is just a, a lesson and a testament to show you or show y'all that whenever you start getting money, don't think that a girl just gonna, you know, what I'm saying submit to you fully and be super faithful to you just because you got money because especially if she good looking and she already bad and she already getting attention like it's already other niggas in her dm looking to take that spot you got niggas out here who live solely for the purpose of being able to to flex that they got a bad bitch or whatever and that they can do whatever for her and still be able to go and get another one they're making so much money so they don't care about tricking off here a little bit here and there so don't ever feel like your girl's secure because I know he felt like that was just secure. You know what I'm saying? He felt like that was just secure. So, yeah, man, y'all, uh, I don't know. Gotta watch these new Gen Z females, man. These Gen Z born after 2001, 2002 as females. Like, 
even ju just in general nowadays, like she can be in her 30s or 40s, they still be on the same type of time because now they see, women see how much power they have over the world. They see how easy it is. So if she ain't lining up morally and we and we know better than they do, like we think more logically when they come to shit like that than they do. So you should already know. If you messing with something like that and are you messing with a female and you got all this money, then you shouldn't even be thinking about trying to be in a situation to where you can um, have your girl taken. You know what I'm saying? So, um, yeah, man, shit. Um, y'all let me know what y'all think about the whole little situation. Y'all let me know if y'all think um, he cheated or she just cheated for the fun of it. I feel like nowadays, too, a lot of girls don't even care. So you can't even sit here and, and, and assume, like I'm assuming that sh something went on. Because nine times out of ten, nothing probably went on. And she probably just got bored because bro wasn't around. And he out busy handling business, making more money for her to get for free. And she got bored and was like, I'm going to go do my own thing. You know what I'm saying? Like, that's just how they move. So, um, that's crazy, man. I think you got to always protect your yourself at all times, your assets. Don't be just so quick to jump into something. And this is just for, you know what I'm saying? Not This don't even just per pertain to people that got money, but like normal people that's still on their on way up, like, everyday life, middle-class people, like, a girl, a girl gonna cheat, regardless, you know what I'm saying, and most girls only gonna want you for what you, what you got going on, so don't be pressed about trying to get a girl right now in this time, or trying to get at somebody, you need to focus on yourself, focus on setting yourself up to attract the type of girls you really want for real. Because you got to put set yourself up to be in certain type of environments to get the girl you really want for real, if we being honest. You know what I'm saying? The looks ain't everything. You got to look past that. If you just solely relying on looks and, you know, basing your girl just off of the way she looked, then you will never really truly get what you want for real. So I'm just saying this to say you can save yourself a lot of time and money and stress by just... Just being patient, stand down, and then you lock in with something that you know you can actually build something with. You ain't got to worry about her backdooring you or putting you on child support after you think y'all didn't got something going. You didn't set up a whole family. You know what I'm saying? Like stuff like that because it's easy to see through that type of stuff. And sometimes it ain't, but you just always got to make sure you take the right steps and precautions to make sure that you don't have to go through no situation where you put it in a situation to where you just asked out. You know what I'm saying? Y'all like how I articulated that right there? I really be preaching when I come out here sometimes. Like, when I'm talking about real stuff, when when I'm, you know what I'm saying, videos, like, I really be preaching to y'all. But, you know what I'm saying? That's gonna be it for this video, man. Like I said, y'all let me know what y'all think. Um, and probably how y'all would've handled the situation. I don't really know how he handled the situation. I don't know if he really said nothing about it, too much about it, but let me know how y'all would've handled it, man. But it's been your boy. I'm gone. <laughs> Thank you.